Hello and welcome to our lightning talk on weather patterns and landslide forecasting. In the next three minutes I will showcase how we have related specific weather patterns over India to landslides in the region and have used this information within a medium range forecasting tool. So what are weather patterns? Well in the context of this research a weather pattern can be described as one of many circulation types over, def over a defined region which differs in its characteristics from other weather patterns over the same region and can vary on a daily basis. Here I have an example of a common uh, weather pattern transition over India. So here we transition between two different active monsoon types and we can see that there's um, subtle variations in the wind speed and direction which cause changes in the spatial extent of the rainfall and then we finally uh, transition to a break monsoon type. Of course all these transitions can have implications for um, the likelihood of landslides occurring. The weather patterns used in this research are the set of 30 patterns shown here, which were produced uh, through cluster analysis of uh, historical uh, wind data. And you can see the rainfall climatologies are plotted here and there's good variability between patterns, uh, which is good to see. Uh, and of course, rainfall is a good indicator of landslide risk. We know from this work which weather pattern occurred on each day historically, and we can cross reference this information with records of um, landslides to identify a list of high risk landslide weather patterns. Um, so in this work, uh, high risk landslide patterns are those which contribute the most rainfall in the 15 days leading up to each landslide event. And we complete this analysis for each individual landslide event. And then we get all the data at the end where we can objectively identify a list of high risk patterns. Um, and I'm happy to discuss more about this, this process in the breakout room afterwards. Uh, we can then um, combine this information with probabilistic weather pattern forecasts, um, which are driven by ensemble prediction systems. So we can see here um, three transitions uh, highlighted in the forecast. These are the transitions with the highest probability. And then we can um, present that forecast slightly differently. Um, here we are presenting the same forecast, but instead we are showing the probability of the high risk landslide patterns occurring um, only. Uh, we can see the high risk patterns shown at the top of the table and we can see at the end of week one and into week two, um, we have higher probabilities. And a landslide did indeed, indeed occur on the 9th of July. Thank you for listening and see you in the breakout room for discussion soon.